Right, here we are. Just thought I'll try this um, jet stove right here. Just to drill two holes, one at the bottom, one at the top of a block of wood. This is just a piece of wood from a pallet. Thought I'll give it a try. What I did, I used um, a hot coal from my barbecue to put in there just to get it started and use the fire lighter to get it going and uh, just want to see how long it burns for it gives off quite a bit of heat might be quite an economical way of cooking in future I don't know how long this block will last for but I thought I'll just give it a go I've seen other videos on YouTube about it first time I tried it the hole was too small there wasn't enough air getting through it works better apparently when there's a breeze blowing it keeps the flames alive looks like the flame has pretty much died now yeah it doesn't seem to work too well with pallet wood try and blow it and see Still glowing inside. Quite hot. But it just smokes, it doesn't seem to burn very well. So I thought I'll just do a quick video, try this as an experiment. If I get the fire lighter out, I'll be able to get it going again. Just that there's not enough air flowing through there so it just keeps dying all the time I was thinking once it catches a light it should carry on burning but we have got a decent flame going in there at the moment because it draws the air in from the bottom because hot air obviously rises so it's a simple but effective way of making fire to cook I guess Yeah, now it's caught the light. Once it gets going, I think that's the main thing. It draws the air through and then it just carries on. That's why they call it a jet stove. Because it draws in the air like a jet engine. And that's what fuels it. That and the wood, of course. So I'll um, maybe do a bit more video just now. Carry on drinking my beer, yeah, a nice evening in the garden. Had a nice um, poiki kos pot of food that I cooked on the fire. Really tasty, I'm uh, tempted to go back, get seconds, if there's any left. So yeah, that's my little uh, jet stove experiment. I shall uh, let you know how long that burns for, I'm timing it. So far it's been going for about 10 minutes maybe. Just about. Right, I'll let you know further along in this video how it goes. It seems to be dying out a bit, but maybe not. Right, here we go. That's 25 minutes in. This thing's been burning for 25 minutes. Most of the base of it has uh, disappeared. But there's still a lot of heat coming out the top of there. If I hold my hand there for too long, it'll get burnt. It is hot. Good thing about having it made out of wood, you can pick it up. Because those bits that I'm touching are not hot. But there is a really good heat coming out of the top of that. I reckon you could use that to cook. I'll have to try it sometime and post another video. But yeah, that's what my block of wood's looking like after 25 minutes now. So I thought I'll just do a quick update on that. There's no flame. There's no flame or anything burning there. But um, it is still burning. There's no visible flame. Let's put it that way. Maybe uh, at night time be able to see it better, but it's glowing on the inside. It is still burning. So I'll do a little bit more on the video. 
see how long this thing's going to burn for. I reckon probably about 45 minutes plus, maybe. Be quite handy to cook on if uh, electric goes out in the house. Just handy to know. Something for uh, as a backup that you could do, provided you've got the drill, the holes pre drilled. Um, because without electric, you ain't going to drill the holes, I guess. Of course, I've only got an electric drill. So, yeah, I'll um, carry on with the video in a bit and let you know how long this thing burns for. Right, here we are. Uh, my block of wood's now been burning for 45 minutes. It's still going. Still getting a lot of heat coming out of the top of that. To test it, got some mini marshmallows I shoved on a fork. See whether it melts them. Although I wouldn't recommend cooking stuff using wood from a pellet because it's been treated with all sorts of chemicals. So this is just a test, I'm not going to eat these. Just to show how much heat there is coming off this. And that's 45 minutes in. Still glowing inside. Apparently it works better when there's a bit of a breeze blowing. You face it so that the front hole faces into the breeze. You can see there the marshmallows are starting to go brown. Just as proof that there is quite a hot... Well, I don't know if you could call it a flame, but there's a lot of heat still coming off that. No visible flames or anything like that, but, I mean, check that. That's how much heat there is on that. As I say, being pallet wood, I wouldn't use it for cooking stuff directly. If it was inside a sealed pot, maybe, fair enough. But stuff like this I wouldn't eat. Because I'm not sure, I think they use all sorts of chemicals to treat the wood to preserve it and all that, and... I'm not going to do your health much good. I guess breathing that smoke won't uh, be any better. But yeah, that's just after a minute. They're looking pretty toasty. And holding them just near the top hole there. So yeah, that's still going after 45 minutes. Still got lots of heat. And... That's what it's looking like from the base, the bottom of it, the front and the top. It does make a fair bit of smoke, so I've been putting a bit further away from where I'm sitting. So I'll do a bit more video after, say, an hour to see if it's still going. There we are. That's my block of wood still burning after an hour. The front of it. The base burnt through the side there now. That's the top. But yeah, there's still uh, a lot of heat coming off that. It's still smouldering away, surprisingly, and that's after one hour. That's what it's looking like an hour later. I'm just wondering if it would be hot enough to set fire to a piece of wood if I put a piece of wood in there like this. But yeah, there's a fair bit of heat, I reckon you could cook on that. Like if you just had a small pot or something, you could easily cook a meal on that, I reckon. That's an energy saving idea right there. I reckon that would work a treat. Just that cooking outside in winter is not going to be fun. Or when it's raining or something like that, but when the weather's dry, it would work. Well, as you can see there, that's glowing. That's how much heat there is in there. It is basically burning that piece of wood. So you could, if you wanted to, put extra fuel inside there. But the block of wood itself is fuel. I guess it'll eventually disintegrate. Um, you know, the back of it's still, it's still plenty there. So I reckon that will burn for at least another half hour or so. Obviously once the bits burn through it's going to collapse. 
but I reckon there's about a half hour left in that. Very slow burning, but a good heat coming out of that. As you can see, that's glowing there. That's how much heat there is on that. So, yeah, I'll let you know in the comments anyway how long the thing burns for. Keep an eye on it. Because I've got other things to do at the moment. So we shall let you know what the outcome is. How many hours can you burn a block of wood for? But, yeah, that's, when I hold my hand about four or five, six inches above it, there's a lot of heat coming off that. Just the smoke, I, mean, I suppose you can't really cook stuff and eat it, like I said, because it's pellet wood. But yeah, that's a good idea. This piece of wood's also smoldering away now. That's how hot that is in there. So yeah, I'll let you know in the comments how long it uh, eventually lasts for. Um, anyway, I hope that you found this video a bit interesting and uh, give you an idea in an emergency situation you can uh, practically cook with just about anything including a block of wood. Uh, we'll have to do another video at some point putting that to the test, see if I can actually cook a meal using a single block or how many blocks it would take. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, hope that you all stay safe and well. Bye-bye for now.